deep canvassing. It is communicating with working class people about our common humanity. These are like 15 to 20 minute conversations. Pre-COVID, they'd be on the doors. They're grounded in radical empathy, not judging people, actually being seriously curious about what people are up against and how they're making meaning of the world. And then we share a little bit about that ourselves. The conversation is the first unit of social action. Nobody does anything without a conversation. There will never be anything close to a revolution or even reform if we can't talk to our neighbors. Deep Canvas is actually a weapon of mass connection. As our volunteers said, this is laying the groundwork for people to not just hear each other, but to move each other with compassion, vulnerability, and love. We start the calls and say, hey, you know, we want to talk to you about X, Y, and Z. You know, how are you doing? And people are like, I'm fine. And we say, well, I'm not fine. And then the person on the other end of the phone is like, you know what? I'm not fine either. Uh, and then a conversation opens up about how anxious people are, how scared they are. And what we're finding people really want to know is who's going to care for them. This idea of really listening to people, listening to the values, and listening to the vision and the dreams of where somebody wants to go, and then tapping into that reservoir of hope and belief about the greater good, about the common good, about the idea that our liberation and our freedom are intertwined. We go deeper and we have deep conversations of understanding the root of what it means to be to be a person of color, to be a person in poverty in this moment. And the reason that deep canvassing is so effective is that, yes, it may be a little bit slower, but it's because we are taking the time to have meaningful human connection. Will we point the finger? Will we fuel the exact divisions that help Trump? Or will we turn towards each other and help build the bigger multiracial we that will win, that will heal, that will govern. We have a beautiful movement with beautiful people committed to an amazing and inspiring vision about what our world can be. You had 280,000 deep canvas conversations in Wisconsin, in Minnesota, in Arizona, in Pennsylvania, in Michigan, in places that made this victory possible. And we've trained a mass base of over 20,000 people who now are experts in this methodology that we use at People's Action and are really leading with compassion, with curiosity, and not just having those transactional conversations on the phones, uh, but really inviting people into the vision of what we can build if we really focus on expanding multiracial democracy and winning our agenda long term. We needed tens of thousands of people with the creativity, the love and the leadership to build the most scaled, soulful election organizing program ever, and that was you. When I was making deep canvassing calls with People's Action to voters in Pennsylvania, I spoke to somebody that said that they were most likely going to vote for Trump. And I ended up telling him about how I'm in the high risk group for COVID and that Biden winning would mean so much to me because he was going to put public health experts in charge of public health crises and that could be life and death for me. I've worked in politics my whole adult life. Uh, I spent almost all that time operating without any hope for real meaningful change, just trying to protect as many people as possible. And it wasn't until I came here that I thought it was possible uh, for us to really change the direction that the country is sliding. Deep canvassing gave me hope. It gave me a purpose. By the end of our conversation, she just said, thank you so much for, for spending this time with me. And uh, I asked her, you know, like, if we vote on marriage again, like, are we going to have your vote? And she said, yes. And I was elated. Um, I was so relieved. I was shocked. When we are able to come together and break down the shame and guilt we have been taught to feel, we are healing together. I think what our intimate human conversation gave her was permission. Now she knew a Democrat because she knew me and she knew that I cared about her, and I trusted her, and so she was no longer alone. Suddenly we were talking about conclusions from the evidence of our lives, not from all of that misinformation, all of that, the, all those debates and arguments that we're asked to have every day instead. Deep canvassing really, really works. Sometimes you just need that connection, you need that empathy in order for someone to make a realization that it could really not only change somebody's life, but it could really change the course of where we're headed in this country. I thought about what's gonna happen the next time that she meets someone LGBT. Like, 
Is she gonna treat that person with more kindness and more humanity and more curiosity and love um, than the way she looked at me when I first said I came out at the door? I remember talking to a voter, a Republican voter. She shared that her daughter had died of cancer the previous year. And I told her about my sister who I lost in 2015. We both cried on that call. When I talked to her about my chosen candidate, she changed her mind about her chosen candidate. That really wasn't possible until you did it. You all are showing up to do the work of democracy. And if we believe in America where we can correct, if we believe in an America where we can overcome, if we believe in an America that is true to her ideals, then it's going to be this work of democracy that you all have shown up to do that's gonna get us there. The power that this program built still floors me, leaves me in awe, and I'm so excited to, to head into this next chapter with each and every one of you. And so I'm serious when I tell you, it's time to figure out how you're gonna tell your grandkids the story of how you changed everything.